Hello, it's Disney Cart Toys here, and today I have an old school Play Doh set called the Snack Cafe Kitchen featuring Little Debbie snacks. With this set, we can make lots of Little Debbie treats, including zebra cakes, oatmeal cream pies, fudge browns, brownies, and nutty bars. The Snack Cafe Kitchen comes with three cans of Play Doh, an extruder plate, and Play Doh knife. This is the first Play Doh set I've ever used that came with stickers. The stickers are for the oven and for the cookie table. This set is super fun. In the oven, you can press your cookies. And then on the cookie table underneath are some cookie molds. We have one, two, three, and four treat molds. Let's get started. I'm going to make the zebra cakes first. And what we need to do is just roll out some dark brown Play-Doh for the stripes. And then we want to lay the stripes of Play-Doh in the little etching inside the zebra cake pan. This is kind of hard to do, you got to be pretty careful and make sure you have it lined up right. I put all the zebra stripes in the pan now so we can add the white Play-Doh for the cake. Now that everything's loaded up in our cooking tray, we can put it in the oven and push it down with all your might. Now let's open it up and see how our zebra cake turned out. We'll rip off some of this extra Play-Doh here. And voila, that turned out perfect. It's worth the extra effort to make sure you get your stripes right in the beginning. Let's just cut off the extra Play-Doh with this Play-Doh knife the set came with. And now we have our zebra cake. This set came with this cute little plate, so we'll put it on that and we'll make some more treats. Let's see, what Play-Doh treat will we make next? Oh, here's the cookie tray for the oatmeal cream pies. Just grab some light brown Play-Doh and we'll load up both sides. Then we'll pop these little cookies in the Play-Doh oven right here. Push and they're ready. Let's pull it out and check them out. And they are looking good, great. And to turn these oatmeal cookies into an oatmeal cream pie, we need some cream in the middle. So I'm gonna use the Play-Doh extruder to make some cream. It kind of look like pieces of gum, but we'll rip them off and fill in between the cookies some cream. And then just put the cookies together like a sandwich, and we now have our oatmeal cream pie. Mmm. The next little Debbie treat I'm going to make is the Nutty Bar, and this one's really easy. You just put in the tray some dark brown Play-Doh, and then pop your Nutty Bar in the oven, and it keeps on sticking to the top. Okay, let's pull it out. And here it is. See, that one was easy. And all you need to do is cut off the extra Play-Doh with a knife. And then add your nutty bar to the tray. I'm next going to make my favorite little Debbie snack, which are the brownies. And this colorful Play-Doh didn't come with this set, but since this is my favorite treat, I'm going to just use my own Play-Doh for this. The fudge brownie has the colorful chocolate chips on it. So I rolled out little pieces of colored Play-Doh and we're going to add these as the colorful chocolate chips at the top of the brownies. I'm done adding the colorful chips, so we're going to load up some dark brown Play-Doh, just push it in there, and then we'll bake it. Alright, I just took it out of the oven and I can't wait to see these things. They look so good! I love all the colors. And oh man, they look so real. I'm going to use my Play-Doh knife just to cut off the extra Play-Doh just to make these things perfectly square. Oh boy, look at these things. They look so good and they look so real. Even the texture of the Play-Doh is just like the Little Debbie brownies. And even though everything looks so real, the box does say fun to play with but not to eat. Bummer. Well, I'm running out of room on my treat plate, so here's another plate and we'll just put it on top of these Play-Doh cans here. We've made four Little Debbie treats so far and we have just one more to go. The last tray we're going to use is this tray for the fudge rounds. For the icing on the fudge rounds, I made more strips of Play-Doh, but this time light brown, and I'm going to load it up in the tray. Once all your icing is in the mold, just drop in the dark brown Play-Doh to finish off the cookie. Then we'll pop these things in the oven at 350. Oh, just kidding. All you need to do is push it. And let's see how these guys turned out. Here they are. Oh, looking good. I love the little stripes on them. The fudge rounds have a creamy center just like the oatmeal cream pies. 
but this time instead of using the extruder, I'm just going to use a Play-Doh knife and cut out a circle. I'll use a cookie to help me measure the circle. And now that I have the cream ready, we can assemble our fudge round sandwich. Here's our fudge round. I think I might have made the cream a little too thick, but hey, there's nothing wrong with too much cream, right? This thing looks good. And now that we're done, we'll put it on our plate, just right next to the brownies. Here are all the little Debbie Play-Doh treats that we made today. I just love old school Play-Doh. This is awesome. Which one's your favorite treat? I think I like the brownies the most. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.